Chapter 5, Mishnah 8. After teaching the law that applied when a festival ended on a Friday or started on a Sunday, the Mishnah discusses what happens. What happened when a festival ended on a Thursday or started on a Monday? We now turn to the words of the Mishnah. If one day separated between Shabbos and Yom Tov, that is, the festival ended on a Thursday and began on a Monday, the two Mishmaras scheduled to serve that Shabbos, i.e. the outgoing and incoming Mishmaras, would take ten of the twelve loaves of the Lechem Apanim, and Kohanim of the other two Mishmaras, who were there in the temple, either because they arrived early before the festival or because they had not yet left after the festival, would take two loaves. The laws in all the previous cases when Yom Tov falls either on Shabbos, next to Shabbos, or a day removed from Shabbos, are exceptions to the rule. The Mishnah now states the standard rule. However, on the Shabboses of the rest of the year, the incoming Mishmar would take six loaves, and the outgoing Mishmar would take six loaves. The next time it disagrees with this rule. Rabbi Yehuda says the incoming Mishmar would take seven loaves, and the outgoing Mishmar would take five. After taking its loaves, each Mishmar divided them among its Kohanim. This division had to be done in a particular place. The incoming Mishmar divided their loaves in the north of the courtyard, which was a more prominent section of the temple, where the holiest offerings were slaughtered, to display that they had recently arrived and were ready to start their service. And the outgoing Mishmar, who had finished their service and were ready to leave, divided their loaves in the south of the courtyard. One of the Mishmars was punished by being deprived of certain privileges, including the right to divide its lechem upon him in the north of the courtyard. The Mishmar of Bilga always had to divide its loaves in the south of the courtyard, even when they were the incoming Mishmar, and their ring, which held the sacrificial animals in place at the time of slaughter, was fastened so they could not use it, and had to use the ring of another Mishmar, and their closet in which they stored their knives, was sealed shut so that they could not use it, and had to use the closet of another Mishmar. Bilga was punished because one of its daughters rebelled against the Torah, the Jewish people, and the temple service.